this is what you need to know about the superior six. We're going to be checking them out. We're going to be seeing which tier fours are going to be best. We're going to be looking at their isotope eight classes, locking them in, and then we're going to go to Cosmic Crucible and see just how many teams they can crush in the upcoming Cosmic Crucible season five rooms. All of that and more in this video. It's going to be a great one. But first, a word from our sponsor. I want to give you $15. That's right. Me, the Mr. Hartgrave channel, and Scarlet Spider Comics want to give you $15. All you need to do to collect that is use the link down below, and it's going to get you a $15 whatnot credit. Doing this is going to help support the channel and Scarlet Spider Comics, so make sure you do it today. You get a free $15 for signing up, and you can buy literally anything on Whatnot, so use this QR code in the link down below today. For every phone number in your house, you can get an additional $15, so even if you've done this in the past, do it again. You can get cool comic books. You guys, you nerds like comic books, right? You can get old comic books. We all love old comic books, old Ghost Rider comic books. These are all from Scarlet Spider Comics, by the way. They sent me a big box a while ago. They know that I like Ghost Rider. So that's what's really cool about buying, doing these online auctions on whatnot is the sellers can get to know you and they can find out, oh, you like Dracula comic books with Spider-Man? Well, let's go ahead and we'll scour the comic book shops for you and then send them to your house. Weird comics like Fish Police. That's right. They got it all on whatnot. Make sure that once you use your $15 credit, you share your purchase with Scarlet Spider Comics. The link to their Instagram will be down below and they'll be sending out free special gifts to select random people who share what they get with their credit. Make sure you go use the QR code, use the link down below today. Uh, get yourself a free $15 and help support the channel on Scarlet Spider Comics and keep digging. And I don't want you just to use the code below and get the free $15 and then never use it. I want you to use it as well. And when is the best time to do that? Well, the best way to do it is to use the link below and join us live on Twitch this Friday at 7 p.m. where we're going to be doing a special auction for the Grave Diggers with Scarlet Spider Comics. They're going to be starting an auction at $1 for the first appearance of Spider-Gwen, plus a lot of other great comics. So come use it there. But if you don't have time, if you can't make it for whatever reason, or you just don't like to go to Twitch, or you don't like to go to live auctions, I got a great deal for you. Go to the same link. It's going to be down below. And you can use that link and go buy a $5 grab bag, not once, not twice, but thrice, and use your $15 credit because until you use the $15 credit, I'm really glad you went and got it, but it doesn't help out the channel at all unless you use it. So make sure you use the credit, go to the link down below, come to the stream this Friday on Twitch at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, get some great stuff from Scarlet Spider Comics. They've been great to the Grave Diggers. They pick out amazing comics. They do great auctions. Most of them are going to go for uh, low value. So we're talking like $5 comics here. They do a great job. They always throw in some extras for us. So they're, they're just amazing. Thank them. Uh, I thank them so much for, uh, for sponsoring this video. And uh, yeah, definitely use that link down below and I want to sell out. They got 50 grab bags available. I want to make sure we sell out on all of them. I want to make sure you get the comics and it'll help support the channel as well. So thank you so much for doing that. Okay, let's get into these characters. We got some very cool footage here. We're on the test server and now this is early access. Um, really, these kits might change. This is not the final version of this team necessarily. Uh, as we know, these teams are in flux the whole time. And uh, but man, this team is so awesome. I don't care what they do. I don't care how they how they. I mean, I want them to work. I want them to do things. But like, if they don't function well in this video, if they fall apart or whatever, I'm gonna let them know. I got a meeting coming up with the with the the the, uh, the team that works on them, and we're gonna be able to get the adjustments made. So I just want to say that up top. I'm not trying to show this video fall on its face. If it falls on its face, it's gonna get fixed. 
They're not going to be released that way. I can guarantee it because we've been through this before. So that's what's going to go on. All right, let's have a look at this. I'm so hyped about this team. Uh, they look phenomenal. I mean, what a cool looking team. I'm not even uh, into the Sinister Six, but I think this team is awesome. All right, let's look at him. All right, Dr. Octopus. I'm not thrilled about his rework. The, the actual part of his rework that I'm thrilled about is the Shocker part. I think Shocker got a really interesting rework and in that his ultimate now reduces speed bar, which is really cool. And uh, when he when he spawns, he gives everybody offense up. You don't need to use his um, his special to get it. It's just really, really cool character. Um, and yeah, they're not much different to Dr. Octopus. I'm going to stick with Skirmisher on him for the purposes of this. I took them all to a high level and a high gear tier because the entire team I would recommend for Dark Dimension 6. This whole team, take it in Dark Dimension 6. They're putting diamonds into Cosmic Crucible. If you want to win Cosmic Crucible, if you don't want it to suck, build this team to extreme levels. All right, we got, oh my God, he's so cool. All of his moves are AOE. They're all unblockable. So for that reason, I went with Raider. I maxed out all of his tier fours because, oh my God, he's incredible. This is a must take to Dark Dimension 6. If you haven't entered the legendary section, you must take this character to Dark Dimension 6. He is just so cool looking. I put him at five red because I, I don't know. I probably should have left him at four red, but I got excited. I hit the button one too many times. I'm just thrilled about this guy. He looks amazing. Uh, Craven the Hunter. Maybe the movie's cool. I don't know. I'm not as uh, crazy about this guy. I'm thinking Skirmisher is good for him because he has an ability block on one of his moves. Let's have a look at the tier fours on spawn. If this character has two or more sensors superior, apply safeguard. Yeah, you need it. And that's outside of uh, Crucible too. So wherever he is, he gives safeguard. This is a safeguard team. Wow. Yeah, you got to do his passive. There's no way around that. If you want the team to work, you got to have that. This flips stealth if you have the passive. So we got to do the um, the tier four on the ultimate. Flip immunity on primary target. That's like very specific. Um, plus more damage. I'll go ahead and grab his special. I'm going to skip his basic. It's just extra damage. So let's try to get away with not having that one on there. This is my favorite character in the game right now. Oh my God. He's so awesome. Spider Slayer. Look at how crazy this is. Look at just bask in the insanity of this design. Oh my God. It's the coolest thing ever. Um, it just, it, look at that. It, it's a crazy deranged J. Jonas Jameson who has put his mind into a killer robot so he can go murder Spider-Man. He's a striker and I just want to do all of his tier fours and I just love this character so much. In Crucible, when this character or any Sinister Six ally has offense up, gain more accuracy. Yeah, that sounds good. Can't be blinded. All right. Awesome. Sick. Um, more piercing damage. And he calls uh, Sinister Six allies with the highest damage to attack the primary target. I guess there's like a, you could get a skirmisher uh, a striker combo going on here with that. If your highest damage is a skirmisher. But yeah, I'm doing that. Awesome. I, I guess I want one of my high damage characters to be a skirmisher maybe. I, I don't really know. Maybe it doesn't matter. That's a really cool power though. More piercing damage. Apply defense up and deflect to self and all villain allies. He has theory crafting potential. We're doing that tier four. Are we going to do his basic? Cause he's a, it's plus 50% piercing. It's going to affect his, his safety attack as well. So I'm just doing all of his tier fours guys. You knew what I was going to do. I'm just so hype about this character. So cool. All right. Lizard. I'm making them a striker, but now I'm thinking maybe I'm going to go back to skirmisher, but I don't know. I'm kind of flip flopping extra block chance. I don't care. Uh, is this, can we skip these more damage copy and clear all positive effects from all enemies to self? You got to go with, um, you got to level that up and at copy and clear, I'm going to go back to skirmisher on him, especially after reading the, um, the kit for spider slayer. Cause I, I think it's going to call the assist from lizard and I want to get a double tap with spider slayer. I don't know. I might flip, flip that back. 
It's a weird thing. If primary or destiny enemies are Hero Spider-Verse, then you get an ability block. I guess I'll upgrade this so I get the ability block, but it's like very situational. I don't know how I feel about it. Um, I'm not going to do his basic attack. It's fine. And that's, uh, that's it. That's my setup. Let's go in. Let's fight the strongest teams. Now, remember, I'm on the test server, so I can't win these fights if I want to use the teams multiple times. So I do have to stop short of winning the attacks I have. If you want to know more about all these rooms, I'm going to have a video. I don't know when, today, tomorrow. Maybe I've already put it out. I don't know what's going on or what order I'm releasing these videos because of embargoes and whatnot. But if you want me to read these off to you, I will in a different video. The thing is, is that uh, all the rooms are pretty bland and they don't really matter for this season of Cosmic Crucible, in my humble opinion. So I've got Secret Defenders and Apocalypse in Room 1. That's probably the most difficult room. Gamma in Room 2. Darkhold in Room 3, which is basically the same as Room 6 in Season 4, where they get like extra energy. Um, I like this um, Unlimited X-Men in Room 4, where they're going to, um, if they dodge, they gain stealth. And when they gain stealth, they gain plus 20% damage. So that might work really well. That's something I did not test in my other video on this. And I'm going to do Death Seed in 5 because what the hell. And then Rebirth in 6. I'm going to start from 6 and work my way over because I think the Apocalypse one is going to be the best test. All right, let's go into this. Let's hit this with the Superior 6. Oh my God, I'm so excited to use this team. Let's go. Um, I'm not going to really get into the Sinister 6 in this video because I just don't have the resources. Not even on the test server. Not on my main account. I, don't, I wouldn't recommend anybody mess around. I mean, I think the people at a very high level, the Krakens, once again, the Krakens and the whales, they get to do the fucking theory crafting. They get to do the fun stuff. Whatever. Fuck them. I don't give a shit. I just want to have fun with this team, guys. I just want to have some fucking fun with this team. Um, Lizard, attack all enemies, clear, disrupted. I don't really care. I am going to slow down the game so we can watch this animation. Let's watch the ultimate from Lizard. Let's go, Lizard. Run around. He's slapping people. Slap happy. Doing a little slap ass. Uh, okay. Okay. And everybody gets a lot of buffs. We got safeguard up now. Oh, Goblin's fucking cool. Fucking Goblin. His ultimate attack all enemies. And just plow people with safeguard. Fucking cool. And I, he's, a, he's a raider. So I'm just going for it. I'm just going for it. This fucking goblin bomb the shit out of this rebirth team. Goblin bomb. Oh, fucking goblin bombs, you motherfuckers. Oh my god. He just did he delete he didn't delete anybody. No, he did. Oh, okay. No, he didn't. I thought he just deleted everybody. That'd be cool. But not quite that awesome. All right. Craven starts up with his special. Attack prime primary target. A flip immunity. Apply ability block. Dope. And then chain around. All right, so Craven's going to run around. Oh, nice. He gets a little back. Oh, he sneaks up behind you and fucking backstabs your ass. All right, I like that. And he deletes everybody. He's just yeeting everybody out of here. Yeet. Fuck you. <laughs> Yeet. Love it. Love it. They don't know what fucking hit him. And then Dr. Octopus. Summon Shocker. Okay, yeah, great, Dr. Octopus. You're really fucking important, aren't you? All right, let's see what Shocker does, though. He spawns. He gives everybody offense up. I mean, that's all he really needs to do. And then it's fucking spider killer time. What's this ultimate? Apply offense up. to uh, More offense up, because why the fuck not? And attack primary target and repeat the attack. And just, It's just like a delete button. So I can just kill... Um, Captain America with this shit. Just fucking kill Captain America with this shit. He hits him, and then he hits him again, and then Shocker, and Captain America's dead as fuck. And that's it. I can't believe it actually called the Shocker. That was kind of disappointing that it called the Shocker. I don't like that it calls the Shocker. I might suggest that he shouldn't call Shocker, because that's like, how not fun is that? Like, oh, Shocker gets the assist. Who gives a crap? What is that? What are, we, what are we doing? All right, I have to speed this up because I'm getting bored. Okay. Um, and then, 
who he gets the next turn. Then Shocker gets his ultimate. He's going to reduce speed bar with that. And Shocker's just going to kill him. Is Shocker like a better character than Dr. Octopus? What the fuck is going on, man? Shocker's hinky. It's hinky is what it is, okay? I'm calling it hinky. I like this loading screen. What was up with that? That was kind of fucking cool. All right. Uh, we're going again. We're going at death's... Oh, shit. I beat the attack. I got I to gotta finish this video tomorrow. I fucked up. I screwed the pooch. <laughs> it's test server, boys. My plan got entirely messed up. Um, what we were doing on the test server... We I, I, apparently we we changed the plan. I, I don't know. Some wires got crossed, and I got matched up with Valley flying again. And he doesn't have the defense that I really want to test using my Masters of Evil. And no one's talking to me anymore about it. So I'm done. Um, I'm just gonna show this team on what's left here. And uh, you you could you saw earlier in the video what I was intending to test. But I don't know when I'm going to get to test that. If I get to test that, I'll throw it on another video or something. But I'm just going to shoot this. And I, 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 look, guys, I'm fed up. I'm fed up. I'm just going to be very open with you about uh, the Envoy program and the test server. Um, it's been a horrible. It, it, this has been the worst run for me. And maybe it's particularly with me just because of how I produce videos and my part-time status. I have a full-time job. I do this as a part-time thing. And the way this is all going down, literally killing me. Um, it's not, it's not the, uh, it's not what I need. Um, I, I need, I need to know what I can do well ahead of time so that I can shoot the video and have it ready to go a day ahead of time. Basically, I got to do everything I do a day ahead of time. And I've had to do it that way for three years. That's the only way I can make videos on this channel and still have a full-time job and still have a family and still be present as a father and still maintain my employment is to be able to make videos a day in advance. So when I get these roadblocks and things that happen that make it so that they want me to make the video and I only have like an hour well, then I can't do it. Like, I just can't do it. And, and I don't, I don't, I don't know what that means. You know, I don't know where that puts us, but, uh, there's been a lot of that this time around. There's been a lot of like, you got an hour to fix it. And I'm like, it, I can't fix it. I can't fix it in an hour. It's just got to go out the way it is. And so that's been like this entire run. And uh, I apologize for that on this channel. I mean, I, hopefully it's been enjoyable no matter what. Because I think me being tweaked out is actually what you guys enjoy the most. Honestly, I think the Mr. Hartgrave channel is mostly about Mr. Hartgrave getting tweaked out and, and, and being kind of agitated. And then that's enjoyable to watch. So hopefully it's been good viewing for you. Uh, but for me, it's been utterly miserable. And I haven't really put out the videos that I've intended to put out at all for like... The entire fucking week, I haven't put out any goddamn video that I've actually wanted to. It's all been some kind of clusterfuck. I can't even remember if I'm supposed to be cursing in this video or not, honestly. I'm so fucking derailed right now. All right. I'm going to try not to win this fight. Because we're not... I'm, I'm not... I got another video where we uh, test Cosmic Crucible. And I play seriously against Valley. But this that's not this video. This is me testing Sinister Six, which is a team I think is fucking great. And I'm going to test them on um, on this X-Men team. And I'm not sure about this placement. I guess it's okay. I think I want the deflects on Lizard, actually, because Lizard's like the taunter. So I think I actually want to switch these guys around. Uh, Sinister Six, Superior Six... Yeah, my placement's kind of wrong on this, I'm realizing now. You want the placement to be, um, no, sorry, Craven back there, Lizard over here, because Lizard's actually the protector. He gets taunt, put um, Dr. Octopus behind him, and then uh, Green Goblin in the in the center to get deflex and speed up, uh, which is good from, from Dr. Octopus. You kind of speed him up, or I could speed up, um, I think I want to speed up Green Goblin. I want him to be the fastest because he's going to do all the most brutal shit. 
I don't know if that's the best idea. Uh, you, you might want to change that. They broke this. Did they break this shit? They like broke. The, I can't actually. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Now I fixed it. Okay. And I've got them up at the top now. And now I can delete that one. I don't know. I should have done that offline. But all right. Let's go fight the fucking team now. Oh, my God. And I Remember not to win the attack, Mr. Hargrave. Don't win the attack or else you have to come back another day. I just wanted to. I should have finished this video yesterday when I had all my defense set up. I fucked up, though. I fucked up. And I won an attack. And now we're here. We're here in a weird spot. The good news is, is that Valley actually has Quicksilver unlock, so I can fight a better version of that. All right, this is going to remove charges from Gambit, which is fucking cool. So this is going to come in, and it's actually going to remove some charges from Gambit. It did. It removed all the charges from Gambit. That's dope. Um, and then Lizard's going to come in, and he's going to wreck shit. And uh, this team, well, if it can beat Unlimited X-Men, that's great. Oh, my God, it really is. This team's brutal. Holy shit, it doesn't even care about Gambit, dude. The removing Gambit's charges wasn't a big deal. It was just kind of fun. And then here comes Shocker. And oh, we got Ability Block over there on Rogue. Oh, that's right. Green Goblin goes nuts when he targets Safeguard, too. He really likes uh, Safeguard. Oh, my God. Spider Killer's awesome. He's got some cool graphics on him. All right, here comes Dazzler, but we don't care. This is a total victory. This is, they don't, she doesn't, ah, does, Rogue fucked up and targeted Shocker. All right, it's over. Uh, she hits with that. Uh, Rogue is rendered useless. And then, yeah, so this is great. Uh, Green Goblin special, when it goes into uh, Safeguard, um, he gains offense up and speed up, and he attacks for, like, an extra 100% damage, and he reduces speed bar. I'm going to go ahead and just do this. It's not going to kill her, but it's going to, like, yeah, it killed her speed bar. It's really cool. And then spider killer. Um, I'm just going to make him attack her. I want to see. Oh, no, I can't. I got to stop right there because she's dead. All right, so this was a win. This was a total win. So cool. Okay, Green Goblin, or uh, Dr. Octopus and Craven were the attacks when Shocker wasn't around. I guess that's okay. All right, that's super, super fun. I'm not going to do it against Web Warriors. It beats Web Warriors. Uh, I guess we can try Infinity Watch. I don't think it's going to be exciting versus Young Avengers. I think it's just going to win that fight. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and throw it against Infinity Watch and go ahead and check that just for some extra value on this video. But look, this team's going to win everything. This team's going to win everything. Would it beat Secret Defenders and Apocalypse? That's the question that I have, but I think I'm going to keep having that question. I'm sorry. I meant to answer that question for you. Literally, Valley Flying could answer that question for you. I, so I gave someone else good content. If, if he, if he wants to film it, it's there. Fuck, maybe I'll tell him, hey, Valley, if you want to film Sinister Six versus that team, just yeah, give me a shout out, you know, throw me a bone. All right. Um, so here comes Green Goblin. He's going against Safeguard. He loves to go against Safeguard. It's fun for him. And he just fucking wrecked her. And I'm just going to go right after Philovel. Actually, he just hits everybody. That's a new thing that they do where it doesn't matter who you target. The character just hits everybody. Mockingbird does that too. She doesn't give a shit who you target. Mockingbird gives no fucks. She just hits whoever she wants. She doesn't give a shit. So that, that's cool. Lizard's like that too. He's like, you can target whoever you want, but I'm just going to hit everybody. I don't give a shit what you want. I don't give a crap. Damn. All right. Yeah, this... They are, oh, they all lost Revive once. Oh my God. This team's really good against Affinity Watch. Oh my God. If you throw this team against and throw this team against Infinity Watch, they are no longer going to kill your efficiency. Sinister Six just annihilates them, pulls all of their revives, and just destroys them. Oh my God! Awesome, awesome, so cool. I gotta stop right here because the, the the whole team is about to die, like passively. My God, this team is good. This team is so much fun in Cosmic Crucible. Holy shit. All right. Here's the one. I'm going to let this attack go through. 
Uh, this is going to be Sinister Six, and this is cool. I, I couldn't have tested this, so we actually got kind of lucky here. This is Darkhold and Quicksilver. I've definitely had this room just destroy me before. I think I tried Masters of Evil on this team, and Masters of Evil lost three times. So, great. If something can beat Masters of Evil, that's fantastic. If this team can beat Secret Defenders in Cosmic Crucible, even better. But uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, let's get this. And then, yeah, I'll shoot a message over to Valley. I'll tell him what to do. I'll just be like, just fight the team and let me know how it went. Send me a screenshot. I don't give a fuck. Um, all right. This is going to remove charges from Quicksilver, which is going to be great. It all hits in a safeguard. I think this. I think Sinister Six is going to tear this the fuck up. I think people were asking me, like, does this make uh, Quicksilver better or worse? I'm like, worse. And it's going to fuck Quicksilver up is what it's going to do. Gonna take Quicksilver. It's gonna bend him over, and uh, introduce him to uh, new things that he's never experienced before. Okay, and he might like them. All right, we're gonna go ahead and ultimate with Craven. Craven just hits everybody. God damn, he just ripped right through everybody. He doesn't give a shit. They can't even do damage to us. Uh, I'm going to target Morgan Le Fay with the ultimate from spider killer and he's just gonna go nuts and we're just gonna annihilate her and she's oh I, I can't believe she's not no there she goes she died how many attacks was that it was like all the attacks whoa they just tanked dr strange dr strange just hit him with an ultimate they didn't give a fuck they didn't give a shit they didn't care at all oh my god this team is crazy this team doesn't give any fucks um yeah Dr. Octopus Ultimate hit it with the offense up. Ah, it wasn't actually that good. Dr. Octopus's rework is really on Shocker. Him, him, him he does it doesn't matter. Okay, uh, Green Goblin going against that safeguard. Whoa, he is violent. I didn't see if he shot him with his gun. I should slow that down. If Green Goblin can get a kill, I want to see if he just shoots somebody. He's got a, he's got a gun on his hip. You believe that shit? Green Goblin just ganking motherfuckers out here. It's weird, man. I never thought I'd see Green Goblin just roll up on someone with a fucking gat and just end their life. I mean, that's that's something else. You don't expect to see that every day, but but here we are, you know? Okay, uh, we got ability block on Doctor Strange. That's great. Oh my god, total victory. Total victory. I mean, they didn't stand a chance. They didn't stand whoa. What happened there? Oh, shocker's uh speed bar. Goes up 80% on his special, and then he can go right into his ultimate, and Shocker wins the day. Shocker is literally better than Dr. Octopus. Dr. Octopus literally summons a better character than himself. And there it is, guys. Um, I think that's pretty definitive. Your Sinister Six, it fucking slaps. It works as intended. It's goddamn insane. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And Grave Diggers, keep digging. <laughs>